Hey guys, so it looks like YouTube is being stupid again. I think they want a repeat of the ad apocalypse they had like a few months ago. And I honestly, I think it's going to have a lot of the similar effects, right? They want to now, after the UK government, there was like a terrorist attack a little while ago, and the guy got radicalized online, right? Uh, from some American preacher. So then Theresa May comes out. And instead of doing anything about like, you know, terrorism with Islam and doing anything like uh, trying to stop the wars in the Middle East and et cetera, et cetera. She's like, no, let's we Google YouTube needs to fix their shit and ban a bunch of people. And like it's YouTube's fault. Right. And this is always the response with governments. Right. They will never very rarely ever point out the actual problem, right? They're always going to point out uh, a symptom or something like that. Like if you, 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 you'll break your leg, you'll fall down, you'll, you'll be completely mangled. And what they'll do is they'll, maybe they'll, they'll sew up some of your cuts, right? And they'll leave it broken completely. Like this, this is what they do, right? If it's not, if there's, if there's not a gun attack where a bunch of people get shot with guns and then leftists come out and be like, oh, take away their guns, take away this, we got to do this. And uh, it, in reverse, you know, if something comes out with, uh, you know, on the internet, right? And then somebody gets radicalized online. They're like, okay, no, we, need, we need to censor these people. We need to censor you, censor you. And it's like, these, this never works, okay? <laughs> like, if somebody wants to be radicalized, they're going to be radicalized. They're not just, it's not just done online, right? It's done through reading the fucking Quran, right? <laughs> who, who being a Muslim. Okay, like that's that's one of the main things is being a Muslim. So if you just remove a lot of Muslims from your country, you're not going to have a lot of terrorism. Like that's just a fact. Okay, I know this one girl from the blaze got fired from that because she said, you know, there'd be no uh, terrorism in your country. If there's no, no Muslims. That That's true. That's fucking true. So whether you would like it or not, I'm not saying let's go and kick out all the Muslims and throw them out of the country. But I'm just telling you, like, that's that's pretty much true, right? Otherwise, there'd be, like, one every ten years of some crazy dude that blows up a fucking building. Like, that, that's pretty much what it would be. So, so yeah, they're, you're, they're using this as a guise to say, oh, we need to stop these radical terrorists and blah, blah, blah. But it, that's not the way it's going to work. It's going to purely focus on people doing the alternative media. It's going to avoid everybody doing like uh it's gonna avoid cnn these people like the mainstream media it's not gonna touch their content but it's gonna touch everybody else who speaks about things that are political that are, are not offensive whatsoever right but they're gonna be put in that category and you know maybe it won't be as bad as i think maybe maybe it they have a very good algorithm and a very good problem a very good program that will actually go through and find the really offensive stuff that maybe people that they, they can be put in there, right? But I I don't think so. <laughs> With their track record, look at look at Twitter as well. Look at when they implemented their new guidelines. Uh, you can't even say fuck pretty much anymore. Like I say fuck two times to somebody that I'm not following because of their algorithm, I get fucking banned for 12, 24 hours. So. Uh, this is not going to have, I believe it's going to affect a bunch of people on the left as well, though, even though they're just trying to get pretty much people on the right, the alternative media, they're trying to get them, it's going to get people on the left, and they're the ones who are going to create the biggest stink about it, and they're the ones that are going to bitch and moan the loudest, and they're the ones that are going to be listened to, so uh, hopefully, if it does get implemented, it affects everybody, you know. He evenly because then it will you know every, there will be a backlash and then they'll, they'll they'll put it back to the way it was because you know they they want to make money they're a business just like that whole uh you know restricted mode thing that was on that was on to begin with for a lot of people then they turned it off eventually because yeah like a lot of people bitched so you know i don't think google is necessarily as evil corporation that necessarily wants to censor everybody I do think they're leftist and they have a leftist opinion you know or mindset so they are going to listen to these people more often than not 
and they're going to agree with them more often than not. But I don't think they're necessarily bad people. They are listening a lot of times to the governments. These governments are the ones saying, you need to do this. You need to do this, right? Otherwise, what, you can't uh, run your business in our country? It's like, really, you're going to kick Google out of your country? That, that's not going to happen, first of all. Like, Theresa May doesn't really, you know, just, really, if Google wanted to say, fuck you, they pretty much could. Because, you, you, Theresa, they, they can't take away Google from your fucking citizens. They'll, they'll, they'll start rioting in the streets. Like, there's very little we're going to write about nowadays, but take away our internet Take away Google and YouTube and stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. Then you're going to see these people get up on the streets and start, like, breaking shit and, and whatnot. But I don't know. I don't think these uh, changes are going to be good, right? I don't. I don't. Not at all. And I hopefully they reconsider before they suffer a massive backlash. Because if they think their business model is going to be the same, if they think they're going to be making the same amount of money when half of their content creators leave to go to other sites they're dumb right and a lot of people like like youtube we want to continue to use youtube it's a very good site and you know why create a whole new one why not just be a little more free with people in their content their ideas and, and then everything's good right <laughs> right everything will be fine so uh, instead of having to change it later because that's what's going to happen they're, they're not going to be able to continue if if it is as bad as I think it might be they're not gonna be able to continue that model for a long time they're gonna have to switch it back because enough people are gonna leave right so instead of taking that massive loss you're gonna take why don't you just not do it to begin with and you know I would recommend watching uh, sticks hexenhammer 666 his video on this he goes through it much better and this is where I got the idea for it but you know, if you like my content, subscribe and have a great day. See you later.